Hey everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently had the chance to see Vacation, which was a remake or a reboot of <laughs> the original National Lampoon uh, Vacation franchise. And I am a huge fan of National Lampoon, have been ever since I was little. And this did not fail to disappoint and they even took pot shots which I thought was very cleverly done and just expertly timed and it broke the fourth wall which I absolutely adore and you know, you know it, that a film is a really good comedy when it doesn't take itself too seriously and it's not afraid to to actually make fun of itself which I really enjoyed about this film and of course, Chevy Chase was a cameo later on in the movie, but the the premise it revolves on the Griswold family, <clears throat> present day, and he wants to take a trip to Wally World, like you know, Dad did way back when in the original. Um, they. <laughs> I won't tell you what happens because everything that happens in this movie is absolutely hysteric. I was laughing so hard. I mean, I haven't laughed that hard since uh, <laughs> The Producers, which is one of my favorite com I mean, The Producers is at the bismuth of my list. It tops every other comedy film that has ever been made. It's, it's a variety film, basically. It's not just comedy. It covers all bases. Um, but, uh, <laughs> Vacation in and of itself is just a perfect comedy film, and yes, you even get to see a guy's penis, and extra bonus, <laughs> bonus, sorry, <laughs> slight spoiler, but I thought, hmm, you usually don't see that in a comedy, <laughs> or let alone American comedy, but, it, you know, it was tastefully done, I thought, and just great. I, I just adored it. Um, just the whole premise of that, the whole scenario is just so expertly executed. It was just icing on the cake for me, and I just, I absolutely adored it. And every single situ situation, situation <laughs> was um, just absolutely hysterical. And I loved all the characters. I loved the family at, f at first. Uh, little brother actually picks on big brother big brother's kind of a wuss actually <laughs> until um his love interest causes him to get a spine basically and that's a uh, one minor subplot that uh it's just such a <laughs> excellent movie and it it teaches a lot of good lessons even though there's a lot of cursing involved and there's one scene with the four four states that they go through and it's the the center stone I forget what they call it but it's where the four states actually touch the cornerstone yeah they call it the cornerstone I want to go there actually I want to I want to see the cornerstone I've never been but there are a lot of places that I, I like yeah I've been there I've been there haven't been there and it just it makes me want to go on a crossroad trip uh, if I had a fifth wheel trust me I would I mean I, would, I, I live for the open road baby and yeah, this was right up my alley, and <laughs> just a, a lot of the things that happened were just sparkling examples of what a comedy should be, and it just, it was tremendous and sparklingly done, and the acting was absolutely sensational, and <laughs> when they all sang Seal in the car, I just... <laughs> that was a crowning moment for me too and yeah, I'm not gonna give away the ending because the, the ending <laughs> you kinda think yep I knew that was gonna happen yet I'm not disappointed so as, as far as comedies go this, this one ranks up there with The Hangover for me which I love the Hangover series particularly the second in the franchise because I think the second in the franchise was the funniest even though the third one the third one was just as good, but it was kind of a letdown. Uh, though it, it made me happy, anyway, because they, they made it uh, complete with a, a full trilogy. Um, this 
this met all my expectations. It didn't exceed my expectations, but it met all my expectations, and it just left me just hollering in laughter. My, my sides were actually... I actually cough. Usually, <laughs> I don't cough when I watch a um, comedy, but this one got me good. <laughs> and I'm going to be laughing about this for weeks, so... Yeah, it was just exactly the medicine I needed, so thank you! And Chevy Chase was just awesome. He was absolutely sensational, as usual. Two thumbs up for Chevy. And even just as a cameo role, he was just the best addition to the whole film. Uh, but basically that's all I have to say about Vacation. And if you've seen the original, see see the remake because the remake is just as good and even better and I don't know if you're like me if you're a big fan you might be disappointed I was not disappointed I really wasn't I just I absolutely loved it <laughs> and I could watch it again <laughs> to be honest because I'm, I'm pretty sure I missed some things but it was just the one of the greatest comedies I've seen in a good 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 long time and I'm just so pleased I got a chance to see it and I give it actually a three point five out of nearly four I, I almost give it four but it's it had the predictability that kind of went against it but actually predictability isn't such a bad thing if something works then go with it it's just that's the way the comedy is I understand that me being um, a comedian well I've I can't really say that honestly <laughs> uh, comedian in training um, I I'm funny without trying. It just I come from a, a family of of people who don't take themselves seriously. Yeah. That's why we've lived so long. Yeah, that's why we've stri that's why we've striven to um to survive in this day and age. And we will. Definitely. <laughs> I can relate we're not so effed up like the <laughs> Chris Wells are no, we're not dysfunctional like the Griswolds are. I mean, the, the yeah, I'm not going to go through that because that's going to be a spoiler and I don't want to do that. And that you know, I don't want to ruin the movie for you. It's, it's just, <laughs> it's an amazing film. It's really um, splendiferous. But that's basically all I have to say for now. And until next time, live long, prosper. Ciao, tutti.